My full name is Tofinga Sefo Fepuleai. My first name Tofinga. I'm named after my dad's mum. <laughs> and my dad comes from the villages of Fushi Safukulafai, Saleaula in Savai. My mum, her name is Malai. She comes from the villages of Sangonge, Papasakawa, Falealupo, and Fasko Uka. Okay? So, but really, my mum and my dad, they were both pretty much raised in the beautiful island of Savai. Upolu was just a little another island, but not really part of Samoa. <clears throat> so, if anyone's here from Upolu, anyone here from Upolu? Ah, oh, God bless you. <clears throat> I was born in Wellington back in 97. <clears throat> I was born in Wellington. I'm a uh, uh, born, and bred, born and bred Wellingtonian. I'm an only child, and, uh, but I was raised with a lot of family around me. My mom and dad, they met here in New Zealand back in Wellington. They used to work at a place called Todd Ford to make cars. My mom used to paint the doors of the cars, and my dad used to stick on the doors of the cars. <laughs> so if you can imagine, it was like a love story. My mom would be painting the car. My dad would be sticking the doors. <laughs> and then they got married at a, a little church there. One of the first Pacific Island churches in, in Wellington was the PIPC in Newtown, and also called the Norkise House. Before my parents got married, they made a very important decision. They bought a house for $9,000. Wow. <laughs> and the reason why I say it's a very important decision that they made, I will explain and you will realize after, as I go on about my story, why it's important, the decisions that you make today because of the outcomes that it will be tomorrow. So my parents bought this house and then, uh, you know, they, you, know, you know, us islanders, we love to try and, and save money and we try and not use as many resources so that, you know, we can save money for other things, for family, for church. So mom and dad, it was winter. I hardly used the heater. Nine months later, I was born. I was born in a three-bedroom house, the house that my parents bought. During the time that I was growing up, my mum thought, oh, I came, she came to New Zealand to work to send money back home to look after her parents. My mum was the youngest of 11. She was the first one to come from her family. So imagine someone leaving everything that they know to go to a place where they know nothing about but they sacrifice all that out of their comfort zone to come and work for their family back home. It's a massive sacrifice. My dad did the same thing. He was the oldest in his family. He also came to Wellington. And my dad, it's funny because my dad, even today, he has very minimal English. You know, Uncle Sam, even he has more English than my dad. <laughs> and that's truth, honest. Those who know my, my parents, my dad is very limited in English. But you see, my, even though my dad, all he could say was good morning, and when people used to come to the door, my dad would say, no, he no live here anymore. <laughs> even though my dad had that much English, my dad was still able to work two jobs. And you know, when I think about it growing up, my dad never underestimated what he had. And what the one thing that my parents had was willpower. They believed in themselves. They had something that they came here to do and they did it. Because what happened was my family, my mom brought her brother over. Then my dad brought his brother over. And we were in this free bedroom house. And then my mom thought, oh, okay, okay, okay. She brought her other brother over. And then my dad thought, nah, okay, okay, okay. He brought his brother over. It got to a stage where my uncles got married off. They all got married, but we still lived in that one house. They had children, 
and we were still in that one house. There was 25 of us in a three bedroom house. Sometimes we had to sleep standing up. But you know, it's a funny thing because some people say, oh, that's very unhygienic for him to have so many people staying in one house like that. But from the bottom of my heart, I would never have changed the way that I was brought up in that three bedroom house. I learned how to share. I learned how to hide and eat the food. As you can see. But I loved the way I was, I never ever felt like I was an only child. All my first cousins, they were all like my brothers and sisters to me. So I was brought up in a little suburb there called Birampua, and then we moved on. I went to Intermediate called South Wellington Intermediate. And then my parents bought a new house. We sold the house in Birampua and moved to Lyle Bay where the beach is. And that's where I learned how to surf. <laughs> the net. <clears throat> So we lived in Lyle Bay, got older, I attended a college called Rongatai Boys College, also called the Coote Street Academy. And only, only the elite, elite <laughs> athletes <laughs> didn't go to that school. <laughs> so I went to a beautiful college and, and I went to college and and I guess like, you know, us as teenagers, when we start to grow up, we start to, you know, because when we're young, we hold on to our parents' hands and we're always dependent on our parents. Mom, dad, can I have this, please? Mom, dad, can you, please? <laughs> but then we get to a stage where it's like, oh, don't touch me, mom. <laughs> dad, no, stay back. <laughs> you know, we start to get independent and then we start to, you know, hey, what's up, bro? And, and, and that was me, you know, as I grew up in college, I started to think I was the man. You know, when I played rugby and stuff, and you know, I was unbelievable. <laughs> and you know, and, and what happens when I started to make friends, and, and we used to do school C. Hands up those who used to do school C back in the days. Anyone here? Come on, you liar back there. <laughs> we used to do school C, but now you guys do that WWE thing. NBA, whatever it is, NC, NC, C, C, C. I used to do school C. And, and the thing within our family and in our church community, if you got school C, it was like you got a gold medal in the Olympics. Because your parents want to be proud of you. And I remember I went set school C. And then I was invited to come back and set school C the next year. <laughs> Because I was one of the elite. I was the elite. <clears throat> and I was very fortunate to be asked the third time. But I said, no, please, give it to somebody else. No, please. Please. This is my 21st this year. Please, give it. Give it to somebody. Somebody. 